mix up with an opening statement? Yeah, obviously I thought it was a tremendous effort by our guys. Um, you know, for us to uh, be in some of the foul trouble we were in, um, down at the half, um, you know, that was a real gut check. I thought uh, a lot of different guys on our team stepped up. That was very much a team win all the way through. Got a lot of respect for Northeastern. Uh, Billy Cohen does a great job, and uh, I know how good a basketball team they have. So uh, obviously we feel very fortunate to come out with a win here. But I uh, give a lot of credit to uh, several different guys on our basketball team. I thought they did a wonderful job throughout the course of the game. Coach, how do you plan for something like that with three of your main guys going out with fouls? Is that something you work on in practice, trying to get other guys some looks? Uh, well, you know, obviously all of our guys, you know, practice. But you know, that's uh, that's why you play games. You know, you can, we have a very young basketball team. We got. Uh, two seniors, two juniors. Um, so some of these games, uh, we get a chance to learn on the fly. There's no other way to say it. And um, you know, I was certainly, uh, it's great when you can learn and also come out with a win <coughs> and not be on the other side of things. So uh, obviously we'll have a chance to uh, learn about uh, different things that we can do. But you know, I thought um, the guys that stepped into the game in, in those situations, they all pulled their weight. Um, they all gave us a lift. And uh, at the same time, some of our other guys uh, took more of a leadership position. Now, throughout the tail part of that game, and, and I thought uh, that was great to see as well. Uh, this is a two-part question. Um, so you guys shot an outstanding percentage in the second half, and for the game, uh, I don't have the numbers in front of me, but I believe it's close to 79% uh, in the second half. Yep. Uh, what did you guys do to break down Northeastern's offense, and do you think that was more of your offense playing very well in the second half, and do you think that was uh, holes in Northeastern's defense? I thought our guys did a great job sharing the basketball. You know, obviously their defense did a good enough job to force us into 19 turnovers. So uh, you know, it's not always just about shooting percentages. I thought they uh, were active, got their hands in lanes, but I thought we did a great job pursuing the ball. I thought we did a great job getting some second shots. I thought uh, we got some defensive stops, which allowed us to get in transition, uh, which I think was very key for us as well. So um, I think they're an awfully good basketball team. Uh, they made the, the game difficult for us start to finish. Um, but I think the difference in the game was in the second half. I mean, we really challenged our guys at halftime uh, to, to get up and, and get on the boards. And uh, for us to out rebound in the second half by um, you know, seven or eight, or, I'm sorry, 10 or 11, whatever the heck it was in the second half, that was huge for us. I mean, I really thought we gang rebounded in the second half. Our whole team was in there, every single loose ball we were getting on. And uh, that gives you opportunities to get yourself in the open court. Justin, career high for you tonight. When did you kind of know or realize you had it going? Um, I didn't. Really, I didn't really notice. I just. I just play. So like when I get into the game, I just keep playing and playing. And I thought that this was a great chance to just come out and try to get a good one on the road. So like I just played my game, and luckily my shots are just falling today. Coach, is there anything you play in defensively? It looked like Reggie Spencer was heating up in the first half. You seemed a little more quiet in the second. Was that something you talked about at halftime? Not really. He's a good player. You know, I think they're a very good team. Uh, obviously, they got guys that can shoot the basketball. Uh, he's, they got good inside-outside balance. Um, you know, no matter what we went to, it was difficult to stop for a while. But I thought uh, in the second half, we did a great job getting out and challenging some shots. I still thought they made some big shots. I thought Justin did a, a very good job on Joel Smith. And I know he, he still had 19 points, but I thought he made him work very hard for those points. Um, yeah, I just thought it was a good team defensive effort. Justin, you're from Canada. Right? I mean, uh, how'd you wind up at Maine? And then in Canada is obviously known more for hockey. How did you? Yeah, definitely. Um, Canada is more of a hockey country. Um, but in Canada, basketball's not as strong. Like it's not as strong as in the USA. So basically, I just played, um, got recruited. Maine was one of the first uh, schools that recruited me, and they're really loyal to me. And I just knew it'd be a great fit. Uh, love the coaches, love the players that were here. So I just thought it would be a great decision for me. And obviously, it's been. Coach, you had an 11-point lead that dwindled down in the final minutes. What were, what were you talking about on the bench to get your team back in it? Well, you know, we were trying to stay as calm as we could. Like I said, obviously some of our key elements, you know, weren't in the game at that time. Um, you know, uh, we've been in a couple close games. Um, we knew they'd come at us. We knew they'd make some, you know, have a chance to make some shots. Um, you know, uh, John Messner, one of our, the, you know, very talented defense players, he fouled out. Obviously, we had to be careful with Ali. There, he fouled out. Mike Allison is an all-defensive guy, fouled out. So, you know, we kind of really, um, you know, were a little bit pinched there for, um, uh, I don't want to say, not, we weren't in trouble, but we certainly knew they were making a run at us. But, you know, we just kept staying with it. We knew we had a big enough cushion, a big enough lead. And, um, you know, we had plenty of timeouts, which I thought was key. You know, we were able to take four timeouts 
uh, or three of our four timeouts in that last minute and a half and, uh, you know, settle us down and, you know, just get the basketball to different areas we wanted to get it. And then, you know, obviously we had, you know, I thought Justin made a huge play, you know, getting the ball and getting some free throw line, making free throws, Xavier Pollard. I mean, what a tremendous play on defense after a turnover to go back, stop the guy, get the basketball. I mean, that was a play that, uh, that's a winning play. And, um, uh, you know, a couple challenge shots, a couple big rebounds in traffic, a couple guys on the, on the floor for loose ball. We're fortunate to have the possession or arrow our way. But uh, all those uh, little effort, uh, little extra hustle plays, I thought it really paid off for us. And as Northeastern charged back, you did have three players <coughs> foul out, which gave you three additional chances to meet with your team, along with the time ass that you just mentioned. You were I would rather have those guys on the court <laughs> yeah. with the well, chances, to be perfectly honest obviously. with you. But I do know, understand what you're saying, and you're right. It, it did give us, because obviously we had some guys in there, um, in particular at the end there, Till Glover, who's, you know, not to, uh, not a, you know, this is the third or fourth game he's played. So, you know, we had some things we had to discuss, and we want to make sure we didn't make any critical mistakes at that time. But you know, our guys persevered. They did a great job. we got to clean up our turnovers. That's a big issue for us. Um, but uh, a lot of different areas in the basketball game, uh, you know, I thought we did a great job coming out of the time.